Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, I think we can all be proud that this country is leading the global charge on net zero, and as part of our historic uplift in R&D expenditure to 20 billion a year, 52 billion over this CSR, UKRI is investing 800 million annually on research and innovation in net zero and 210 million through the Industrial Decarbonisation Fund. And I'm delighted that Scotland is in the vanguard with over 1400 projects uh, funded in receipt of 1.3 billion. Uh, the battery, Faraday Battery Challenge investment of 540 appears to be working with the good news today of Tata's multi-billion investment in a four billion pound gigafactory. Jerry. Speaker, I'm delighted to hear the Minister acknowledge that Scotland is in the vanguard of research in this area. Yeah. But the Industrial yeah, yeah. Decarbonisation Research and Innovation Centre at Heriot Watt University in my constituency has become a focal point of collaboration and innovation for UK industrial clusters. However, the excellent progress that they are making is at risk due to a funding gap. And my ask for the Minister is, will he meet with me to discuss the vital work that has been done at Heriot Watt University and to see how the Government can support it better in its efforts to help the Government reach its industrial decarb decarbonisation targets? Brevity, Mr Speaker. Yes, with pleasure. Rob Robert. Uh, there can be few more exciting and innovative projects for any constituency than a spaceport to launch satellites into space. We had a done deal to build one on the runway at RAF Scampton before the Home Office marched in and stymied the whole project. Will the Minister please lobby the Home Office to try and get the runway back, a spaceport, why would the Home Office want a runway? Or is there some darker purpose behind this? Uh, well, well, my right hon. Friend has raised this before, and I will happily come and speak to him about it and support that space cluster. The UK is poised to lead Europe in the launch of low Earth orbit satellites over the coming decade, and we are building launch pads around the country for that very purpose. Drew Hendrick, vital yeah. fabricant, Sir Michael. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed, following on from that answer, we have world-class universities in the West Midlands. So can I ask my right honourable friend, what plans does he or she have in order to support regional innovation clusters there? And makes an important point. We're investing heavily in regional innovation clusters all around this country, three uh, in one in Manchester, one in Glasgow, and one in the West Midlands, where the excellent Mayor Andy Street is driving a genuine innovation economy. Liz Twist! 